Okay. Hi guys. I am back. <laughs> um, in my previous video to this one, I told you I had um, part one video that I had gotten the large sunflower plates. I realized they didn't, so I ran to, I got in that car and I went to Dollar Tree to get the two big ones because I want to have, like I said in my previous video, I like to have two, uh, it's just me living here, so I like to have two mugs, two bowls, two small glasses, two plates, smaller plates, two larger plates. Well, they had the larger ones, thank goodness. Look how beautiful those are, guys. Aren't those pretty? Look at that. Look at that big sunflower. It is so pretty. And they're so well made. They're, these are not cheaply done. That's what I like about these. Sometimes they have plates that look, you know, kind of cheesy the way they're painted and stuff. But these are really made well. They're made by Royal, or no, Royal Norfolk. But they are so pretty. I'm so glad I got them. Now I have my two of everything of sunflower. See? Aren't they pretty? I love them. I'm so glad. And, oh, hold on a second, guys. I'm going to show you these real quick. While I was there, I got these too because um, I'm, I'm on a weight loss journey even though I have this waddle, <laughs> but I am, and I'm slowly losing, so I make these smoothies, these shakes, smoothies, out of some stuff called Huel. It's a Huel, it's called Huel food replacement, but anyway, it's a powder that you make a shake with or a smoothie with, and Dollar Tree had these. These are good, guys. I've gotten them before. This is just strawberries. You can see that, and then I got the berry blend, which I really like. These are really good, guys. If you've never gotten them, they're good. And then, I love these little Celeste pizzas, guys. And why? Because they're so small. And I can't eat a lot of wheat because they ca it causes me problems. So these little small servings like this are perfect for me as a treat. Plus, they have the calorie count on the back, so you can know exactly what you're eating. So a wheat treat for me once in a while. And they're small, which is perfect for me. And then I got, I had to get a pot pie, a beef pot pie, banquet beef pot pie. I remember my mother making these, putting them in the oven, um, especially when I was in high school and I'd come home from school, she'd have these in the oven. And I had to get one just to get one. And again, tells you how many calories, so you know what you're eating. So another kind of a wheat treat. I'm going to take these back real quick though. I want them to start thawing out. There we go. Okay, glad to have you all back. Remember guys, please hit the like, subscribe, and the little bell button. No! Because um, it helps me out a lot. And I appreciate it so, so much. Kitty, no! Oh, it figures. Now, anyway, um, let's get to what else I got. This is my part two of my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I found these can't, I look, like I say, some of their candles are great, some are not, but I happened to find some that were really, I love them. This is called Love and Beauty. Oh, guys, it smells so good. You can see that. Love and Beauty. And it's purple, which goes in my bedroom. So I really like that. Then this one is called uh, Fresh Linen. Guys, if you've never gotten this one from Dollar Tree, you really need to smell this. This smells, it's just amazing. This smells so, so good. I, get, I just want to keep smelling it. This is going to go in my bathroom. Oh my gosh, that smells good. Then there's this one called Eucalyptus, which I love that scent. Oh, this smells so good, guys. It's just, um, you can see it, eucalyptus. And look at the pretty container. It's green. It's a pretty sage green, which goes perfectly in my house because I have greens and purples and maroons and deeper colors. So that's such a pretty little container that you can reuse. Then, 
there's this one. I wasn't going to get it because as soon as I saw the name, I thought, forget it. It's cilantro and watermelon. And guys, you'll never know anybody who hates cilantro. I hate, 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 hate cilantro. I hate the smell of it. Oh, I just, I couldn't even fathom eating that stuff. But amazingly, there's no cilantro smell in this. This smells just like watermelon. Oh, it's so refreshing. It smells so good. See, guys? It's just amazing how good this smells. You can see, let's see if I got it right, yeah. There's cilantro and watermelon. But you know what? I don't know why it just doesn't have the scent of cilantro, which I'm really glad for. But you get these nice little jars, guys. Reuse your jars for things. Don't just throw them out. Save your landfills from so much junk. You can reuse these to put anything in, lotions, creams, or spices, you know, like when you buy the big ones, pour some in here so that you're not constantly opening that big one, which makes them go stale quicker. Put a little bit in a jar. See, these are reusable, nice little jars. And then I found this one. Let's see, hold on. I didn't know what this meant when I saw it. I thought, what a weird name for a candle, rake pile and leap. I thought, what? What kind of a name? And then I realized it's a fit candle for fall. I don't know if you'll see it with the glare, but maybe you can catch it. But there's leaves there. It's rake, pile, and leap. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I figured it out. Rake the leaves, pile them up, and leap in them. <laughs> so smart. But guys, this one smells like like you're walking in the woods in the fall and somebody's burning a fire with good smelling wood, the really nice smelling wood. It just smells amazing. I cannot wait to use this for fall. It is so beautiful. It just makes me feel, I, just smelling it makes me feel cozy. It's such a beautiful smell. Like you're in the woods in the fall and someone's burning a really nice fire somewhere and it's just wafting through the air. Love it. So. I'm glad I got that one. Can't wait to use that for the fall. I can't wait for the fall. I'm so sick of this heat. Here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where I live, it is so hot. It is disgusting. Just disgusting. Here's another one. This one smells beautiful. It's called Ocean Mist. You can see that. And it's a beautiful little purple. And I love that they use a little raffia to tie that little thing on with. But this smells so pretty and you know guys I don't know why they call things ocean anything I don't understand that because to me personally guys to me the ocean stinks it makes me think of rotting seafood the times that I visited my sister Gloria in California and we've gone to the ocean oh man I'm like it just smells like everything is dead in the water I can't that's, maybe it's just me, but I can't handle the smell. I don't get why they ocean smell, why they name anything ocean anything. Just doesn't smell like that nasty water. But anyway, <laughs> back to this candle. It smells amazing. So look for ocean mist. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got this. And it's purple, so that's going to go really good in my bedroom. And then, okay. Let me show you real quick here. I got this. Now I'm not one who really likes to use the cleaners from Dollar Tree. I haven't found them to be very good um, unless they're a name brand. But the other brands that I've tried not so happy with. But I'm hoping this one works. It's called Oxygen Orange All Purpose Degreaser and Spot Remover. You can see that there. I'm hoping it works because I'll tell you why. I live in a rental, guys, and the backsplash of my stove, like there's my stove and there's a backsplash there, and then there's a little wall next to the stove that has the you know, backsplash type of thing or area, and it looks terrible. This is a rental, and whoever lived here before, I don't know what, I don't know what the builder or landlord or whoever put behind the stove and next to it. It's like some weird white kind of board or something. I don't know what it is. But whoever lived here before, they either scrubbed it to death or put something on it and peeled it. I don't know. But there's splotches all over of where the white part has come off. It looks tacky and terrible. 
So I thought there's got to be something I can do to make it look nice, you know, because it's my kitchen. Well, amazingly, I found these for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Check them out, guys. Like a subway tile. This will go perfect because in this house, it's a white stove. I could not believe they had these for a dollar. Self-adhesive. So that's a, that's a, a project I'm really looking forward to because um, it, it looks terrible. Now this is going to look so much better and I can't believe it. So I got 16 of them to take care of the area behind my stove and on the little wall next to it. Make it look decent because it looks terrible and I hate that. Because you know your kitchen here is where you're you spend a lot of time, whether you're cooking or cleaning or getting something to eat or drink or whatever, or you're visiting with family, and I couldn't, I can't stand that anymore. So, yeah, got these. I'm looking forward to that project, guys. I really, really am. And that's why I wanted the degreaser, because it says to get all grease off of the back. So hopefully that works. Knock on wood. Um, okay, so next, um, I got... I love these little jars because for someone like me, when you live alone and you get big jars of stuff, they can go bad pretty quickly if you're not using them really fast. So these smaller jars are perfect for me. I got tender green asparagus spears. Check it out. See? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try those. I love, love asparagus. And then I got sandwich slice pickles by Pampa. <laughs> But there you go, you can see that. These are the slices where you just lay it across your whole uh, sandwich. So I was real happy with that. And then guys, oh, I forgot this. I found this in the bags that I had gotten to go with my sunflower stuff. <laughs> I think that's so pretty. They're just so pretty. They add such, you know, nice color to your kitchen. Bring it alive a little bit. And then I got these which I love. I love snack pack and you guys are probably thinking this woman says she's on a diet to lose weight which I've said in my previous videos and I am except I'm not suffering. I'm doing it slowly and it's coming off slowly and I am happy with it that way. But I'm not going to do without. Life's too short. There's too many good things so it's all moderation. Count calories. Just be careful with carbs and treats. These are going to be like a treat now and then. Not something I eat every day. But I love the snack pack butterscotch. I love, 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 love the chocolate. I could eat these forever. I started eating these back in high school. <clears throat> One day, uh, I went to my friend, her name is Linda. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Um, we went to her house after school and she brought out the snack pack. Back then, they were in little cans. You know, they weren't in these, they were in cans. And that was the first time I ate that snack pack. I was hooked forever. I mean, that was it. I still love them to this day. And that was going back to high school, and I'm 66 years old. I still love snack pack. Thanks a lot, Linda. Anyway, <laughs> I love these. So um, those are treats for me. And then I got fudge mint fudge cookies. I don't know if you've ever gotten these from Dollar Tree, guys, but they are good. I mean, these are really good. These are not cheesy tasting. They are delicious. So if you've never tried them and you love fudge mint cookies, try the oven-baked fudge mint cookies. They are delicious. And then, mind you guys, these are all treats. Part of my weight loss, I won't do without. Almond windmill cookies. Who of you have had these? These are amazing. I have loved these for as long as I can remember. I, I mean, we're going back to when I was a kid. I love windmill cookies. And so these will be another treat. And they make this brand, Little Dutch Made, they are the best. I've tried other windmill cookies and they're not the greatest. These are like the real deal. These are delicious. So if you've never tried them and you like almond, you got to try these. They're delicious. And then... I got these, let's see here, Munchrite's Cheddar and Sour Cream. Yes guys, junk food is part of my diet, like I said, won't do without. But these are delicious, so if you've never tried them, give them a try. They are Munchrite's, zero trans fat, gluten free, kosher. 
So, yeah, I these are good. Try them. You'll like them. Same with these. Um, the veggie straws, these are delicious. Non-GMO, which is nice. Just another treat for me, guy. I add the calories. I add everything in to my eating, and I am slowly losing weight. But the veggie straws from there are delicious, guys. So keep that in mind. And then... <laughs> I've got my fudge covered rounds. <laughs> you bet. You know what I've discovered? When I ha when I don't have any goodies around, I crave them insanely. By having them around, I don't. I guess it's just a matter of, you know, you want what you can't, or you, yeah, you want what you can't have, or whatever. But knowing they're around, I don't crave them. I just treat myself now and then. But these fudge covered graham rounds are delicious, guys, by oven baked also. You have got to try these. These are so good, especially with coffee. Oh, the chocolate melts. Mmm, so good. <laughs> They're so, so good. You've got to try it. And then I found this, which I was anxious to try, by Starkish. Starkist Creations Microwavable Tuna Thai Green Curry. I thought that was great. I am like, okay, I'm all about curry. I love curry, so I don't know if that's reflecting or not hard for me to tell but it's Thai green tur cur curry 160 calories for this pouch so I like that you get to see what you've got and you can watch your calories and it helps to lose weight when you have everything right there for you and you don't have to measure everything but I can't wait to try this fully cooked um, green curry this is this is yummy I can't wait to try that then I got the teriyaki this is supreme tradition teriyaki it's really good guys and I'm one who I'm very picky about teriyaki a lot of them I've tried are not that great this is delicious guys really really good so if you've never tried it give it a shot all you can do is find out it's a dollar and if you decide you don't like something at least you didn't lose five six ten dollars so I happen to like that one and then I like Texas Pete Original Hot Sauce. <laughs> yeah, Texas Pete Original Hot Sauce. I love hot sauce on eggs, like scrambled or fried or like in tacos or burritos. I love this kind of sauce. I just, I, I loved, I always used to get the Louisiana Tex, or what it was, Louisiana Hot Sauce, but I tried this one and it's delicious and it's a dollar, so I'm continuing with this one. So if you've never tried Texas Pete, guys, Give it a try. It's good. Mm, it's so, so good. And then, yes, guys, I love sardines. I am a sardine lover. <laughs> I know, you probably think I'm weird. I love them. With pretzels, no less. Sardines on a pretzel. I love it. And these are sardines in tomato sauce, which I adore. I also get some that I get at um, Costco. They're in olive oil, but they're seasoned. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I have some of those as well. But these are delicious by Pampa. Guys, if you've never tried these and you like sardines in tomato sauce, I, I just open this up and just eat the whole thing. I mean, I just love them. So anyway, <laughs> and then I was so excited to see this. Diced mangoes I could not believe they had mangoes it's always pineapple or pear or some of these and I love diced mango but the can that I would get at my grocery store was almost four dollars I'm like oh you know that's a lot for a, a small can so when I saw these I couldn't believe it so these are going to go in the fridge and be a delicious little locale treat I couldn't believe it so if you like mangoes check your Dollar Tree store. We've got them and there was a bunch of them. So I'm happy to have these. You get three in each. So that's that's a nice little treat as well. And then here's another thing about me. I'm weird. I hate peanuts and I hate peanut butter and I hate anything with peanuts except you know the payday candy bars. I love those and I love peanut butter cookies. How weird is that? can't stand the smell of peanuts, can't stand any peanut butter or anything like that, but yet those two things I love. So I saw this at Dollar Tree, I thought, oh good, peanut butter cookie mix, sounds good to me. Can't beat it for a buck. 
makes 12 two inch cookies. Well for me, those will go in the freezer and then I take a treat out. That's how I'm working the weight loss guys. Like I said, I won't suffer. So I was excited to see that. And then I found Autumn Mills Instant Oatmeal Apples and Cinnamon Oatmeal. Uh, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, and no artificial preservatives or sweeteners. Oh, nothing worse than artificial sweeteners. And these sound amazing. I haven't tried them, but I'm sure they're pretty good. Heart healthy, blah, 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 you know. But there they are, guys. Autumn Instant Oatmeal. I can't wait to try that. I haven't, I haven't eaten instant oatmeal in I don't know how long. I can't even remember the last time I ever bought some. I always buy the kind you have to make. But I thought, what the heck, I'm going to try them. I, lo I love oatmeal. <laughs> so that's, that's a good one. And then I had to get this chicken salad, guys. And why? Well, my son Nathan, when he used to live with me, <clears throat> every time we go to Dollar Tree or the grocery store, if they had them, he had to have these chicken salad with crackers. Just had to. It, they'd go right to the chicken salad with crackers. And so I just had to get one for the, eh, you know, just the memory of it. <clears throat> um, and they're actually really good though. I mean, they are actually good. If you've never tried the Brunswick chicken salad with crackers, give them a try. They are really a yummy little treat. Um, <clears throat> the chicken salad is 120 calories, the crackers are 70, so 190 calories for a little treat. So yeah, I had to get those. But that is it for now, guys. I have another uh, bag of goodies. It's a bag of beauty goodies. So I will be making that video to post as well. But I hope you enjoyed this because I love, love, love Dollar Tree. I just, I could go nuts in there. I mean, I really could. <laughs> I sort of did. Um, <laughs> I'm making three videos out of, out of my goodies. But, um, yeah, I'm just really anxious to to use my plates and my my summer stuff and all of that stuff that I got. I, I, I've gotten to the point in life, guys, where <clears throat> at my age, I don't want stuff anymore, you know, like knickknacks and things. I want stuff I can actually use, that I'm actually going to use, like the food, the beauty products, the you know batteries, the, the placemats, things I'm actually going to use, candles. I don't have any room for any more knickknacks. I've gotten rid of quite a few things. I've given it to the vets, you know, the veterans thing. Um, and it's hard because you go into a place like Dollar Tree or or some of these low, you know, discount type places. And they have so many pretty things, but I don't need anything like that. I've gotten all that I want and need at this point. And if I do find something I like by chance, I will replace something I have in here with it. I don't, I, I don't just keep adding anymore. I just, I can't do that. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I'm to, at, at my age, I'm 66 and I have everything I need, pretty much what I want. And so now I'm into buying things that I actually will just use. Um, because otherwise it's, waste, it's just wasteful of money and, and I just don't need it. And, and it can get too cluttered and I don't like that. So I have a spare room where I have my extra um, knickknacks and things because I scale down what I add in here. And I'll switch them out. I just switch them out like maybe I get tired of looking at what I've got and like, oh, I'll go grab those. I kind of switch them out and it works. It works for me. And yeah, I know I'll eventually buy new stuff, but at this point, no. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will be back with my uh, beauty haul from Dollar Tree. I found some really cool stuff, guys. I think you'll enjoy seeing it all. But anyway, have a good one. Please subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell so you know when my videos come up. I appreciate it and uh, I enjoy spending time with you and showing you what I get. And uh, I love to hear your comments about it. I just hope you enjoyed it. I gotta get, my dogs are giving me dirty looks because it's 15 minutes till eating time. They eat at five. And I don't know how they know this guys, 
But my dogs know exactly what time it is. When it's time to eat at 8 o'clock in the morning, they know about 10 till they start my, my dog Kitty. She does this pathetic thing where it's like, <gasps> like she's starving, you know? And she, about 10 minutes to 8, she starts whining and crying to eat. I can wake up at 6, but she won't bother me until around 10 to 8. Same with the evening. About 15, 10 minutes before 5, all of a sudden they're looking at me with that look of, are you going to feed me or what? And right now she's giving me the dirty look. She hasn't started her whining yet, but Kitty is giving me that look of, you know, you going to feed me or what? <laughs> and I don't know how they know the exact time, guys. I'm serious. I can be doing whatever, but they know. So I got to go take care of them. So I will see you in my next video. Take care and have a great day, night, evening, whatever you are, wherever you are watching this. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.